know what she responds to that, what's your response, and then I'll follow up with her. <gasps> Gasp. Oh. Welcome back to Here's the Plan, episode seven. This is a really exciting episode because it is our first wedding at the castle. Woo! In case you forgot, this is Miguel. He's our events director. Also, I was the lead coordinator for our first wedding at the castle. So leading up to the wedding, we have been storing a whole lot of the furniture and decor that went in the castle. We didn't bring it all to the castle in phases because it was still a construction site, so we didn't want it getting dirty. So the week so of the wedding, we did a huge clean of the entire space, huge clean, and then brought in all of the furniture, all of the decor, and staged the entire place. It's like everything was clean and tidy and picked up, but it was like we had to get in the nooks and crannies because we had to make it look like it was a brand new... Old castle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Outfit check. Amazon, 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 velvet mosquito. Awesome. <sighs> Will you answer? The... <laughs> oh, actually, no, I'll answer that. Y'all figure that out. <laughs> Hello. Maybe a large sweet tea? Yeah, just a large sweet tea. Okay, <laughs> two pictures while I'm thinking about it. Yes. I barely know her. <laughs> Part of one of the things that we're doing for the castle is all of its marketing. So with that, we need to bring in a photographer. We need to take good professional photos, not just us with our iPhone. Um, so we're good, but we're not <laughs> great. I've dropped my phone too many times for it to have good camera quality yeah. still. <laughs> so I reached out to our good friend, Kim Robles, who has Greenhouse Creative. Um, and she is out of Lubbock and she does like product and branding photography. And so we brought her in for this and said, we really need you to take pictures of the castle and just one pictures, you know, of the rooms as is like without any of the wedding decor, but also we want good pictures of it dressed up for a wedding as well. So we went ahead and did all the flowers for the wedding several days ahead of when we typically would. Um, and set the castle for the wedding like three days before the actual wedding so that she could take all the pictures. It was a lot of stress, but then like day of the wedding, we weren't running around with our heads cut off as much because it was pretty much already set up. We just had some installs and outside stuff to, to do. It also gave like our clients the ability to walk the space the day before and like see it all set up and if there were any changes that they wanted to make or tables yeah. being moved and whatnot, we could handle that. Which I think was really nice. Cause then like on the day of, like we always make sure that they get first view of it and like get to see it. And like, usually she's in her wedding dress and they're all dressed up and you know, sometimes there's tears and whatever, but like, there's like all this like built up like anxiety yeah. on the day of. So like them being able to like see it the day before without like the built up anxiety and like, I can just walk around and like enjoy it because yeah. we're not rushing around. Like, I think that was great. Absolutely. The last time that I saw the castle, it, it was a heavy construction site. Mm -hmm. And now getting here this week and seeing it all for the first time, I was like, Oh my gosh, it's an actual venue now. It's a like, real life venue. There's yeah. not holes in the ceiling. And Trip hazards. Caution tape and plastic. There was a giant, you can kind of see right here with the chains. This is just a hole straight down. <laughs> so there's two more layers of doors. Great. I rendered that first. Wasps everywhere. Like, again, <laughs> nothing was finished, nothing was closed properly. This staircase. Mm -hmm. Had no railing. <laughs> and it wasn't finished out. Of course it didn't. Obviously, there was no wood, there was no railing, there was um, uneven steps, and it was just cement. Um, 
All the way up, so literally no reeling. All the way up. Is this chandelier? No. No, no, no none of this lighting. Is this vintage? No, it's expensive. <laughs> I mean, it's quick. So. <laughs> so there's there's a famous hotel in Big Spring, The Settles. Um, it was redone uh, 20 or so years ago. These are the original cool staircase thing he found in a dump. Whoa. And so the ones at the That's hotel cool. now that has been like redone are like mimics of the original and we have the, and original. the original. So did you have to redo the staircase to fit the railing or did it just fit? So, so okay, so I take that back. Some of the railing is original. Some of the railing are guys worked amazing and created. Replica. So I actually oh, think cool. this is original and this the staircase oh, okay. itself is the replica. replica. There's no glass in the window. Oh, so it's just, just open? open? Yep, that's fun. Um, was this space actually used or was it just like? Yeah, it's really fun. It's pretty good. It smells like this. <laughs> we custom made this. So that people won't care. So keep going up. Um, my nose. Plaster is all new. Paint is all new. That giant chandelier, like, yeah. that's a beast. For me, being able to see it from like the rough start to the finished quote unquote product was really amazing. Yeah. I think KDC did a really good job. I think you did a really good job. It all came together, it was so good. This you couldn't, Stop. like you couldn't be like this. Because <laughs> it would fall. Yeah, and then, um, so they really just like redid the whole, whole thing. This is, one of our suites for this wedding. This one's called the Lookout. This cool thing. So these are perfectly circular rooms. So you have to here and talk. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. So obviously you have flooring, you texture. There was another giant hole right here. Um, and the, these were just concrete cement blocks. The wall floor. Um, giant hole right here because two floors down, he made this to be an elevator shaft. But they never is so it's a two story hole. Yep, okay. exactly. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> they didn't know what to do. So there's this cute little like lookout. It's why we want to have a lookout. Because this is not like a normal door shape or size. So I requested these doors. Love it. Designing. Yes. <laughs> I drew a picture. I drew a picture. <laughs> Love that. I like this. This was in the bathroom, kind of plumbing through like cement and stone, and an electrical through cement and stone. We go into what we call the hideaway, it's the private room. Blank slates, there were not, there was nothing. Um, if you walked into this, it, the, this wasn't built out. It, there was no bathroom, nothing. It was just a room with a giant AC duct <laughs> going through the middle of it. Right here, like where the trees are, there was a old tennis court that had emus on it. <laughs> like living, of course, breathing. Who have been, they've been relocated. Oh, they're still here. Yeah, they've just been relocated to um, a different part of the branch. That's fun. So this is going to be a vineyard, and this is another ceremony site. So. Um, so then we have see the, the fence. Mm -hmm. That is because we have a, a way for the bride to get here, oh. walk all the way behind the fence, and come out right there. That's genius. Good job. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Your wedding planner. Designer. Design you. <laughs> 100%. Big problems that we've had. If you're doing everything in stone mm -hmm. that's already been designed, you already had the base layout that you couldn't screw with because it's stuck up. Right. And it wasn't completely thought out. Like he would kind of like build a room and then be like, next year I think we're gonna build that room. <laughs> and like not, so things like our bar, our kitchen, and whatnot, it's like this isn't ideal, mm -hmm. but we're gonna make it. Work with what you have. Yeah. Yeah. This is our like catering nook. Oh, cool. Okay. So there's no like official kitchen. No, no kitchen. Well, no full kitchen, but phase two, one and a half, mm -hmm. has. It'll have big prep tables, a nice maker, three compartments, yeah. As much of a kitchen as 
Kidders need these too. So we have this kind of buffet ready. Cool. That's so smart. And then in here, we have a cooler and we have a prep table, or a prep table that's going to go right there. Cool. So they can store their stuff. This was where the elevator shop. Oh yeah. So oh. <laughs> this is where the hole went to. Yeah. Hold up. Got Hold it. up. <laughs> yeah. In presenting this idea to Kim, I was like, "Hey, we need you to take pictures of our project site of this venue," and she was kind of like, "If you could send me like some videos or some pictures, so I can get a good scale of how big it is." And I was like, you can't, like, until you're there in person, even if you've watched these videos and followed along on our channel for, you know, the last year, it, until you're in person, it's just not comprehensible. You kind of have to see it to believe it. Kim did such an amazing job, but it's like, it still gets seeing lost. Seeing them in person yeah. versus like on camera, like it, it's unmatched. So, okay, um, as far as shooting goes, you said website and social media. Um, we'll get definitely like a twilight shot and some other outdoor shots. Um, otherwise, like what what do you want to showcase kind of the most? I think we need each of our rooms. Like the bar is really cool. Um, the bridal suite, the, just the upstairs suites are really cool. Yeah. I think one of the, the things that I really try, anything vintage, has more or less come from Midland. That's cool. So, um, like the furniture up there and stuff. It's like, as much as we can then tag those small businesses, cool. even better. Yeah, this, maybe the balcony, bridal right suite, groom suite. Entryway for sure. Entryway for sure. Inside, here's my plan. Here's my plan. So because the space is just like so huge, the light's really uneven, I'm gonna be doing a lot of Photoshop work. So I'm probably gonna be spending like getting one main shot of each space and spending a long time on that one main shot before I kind of start getting details um, and do like pop a flash in every random corner and on random details and like composite them in Photoshop. It's really complicated, but it sounds fun. I think I I'm understand. We're really you. thrilled. I'm uh, really nerding out and I'm kind of excited. Okay. So, um, so but okay. that's what that's what you can that's what to expect. Because I'm like I'm thinking about this and like you can even see on this table like the blue blue light from out here, right? And then the really warm light from the chandeliers. I may even shoot some after dark just to like kind of have every option. You even want to know what your venue looks like when they're okay. actually having their event. Especially this space because like with the medieval theme, I'm yes. imagining people are gonna go a more moody direction often, and so you, I feel like you want to show the space looking yeah. like that. You know? mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So Vince and Vicky are two wonderful people that love them. We thoroughly enjoyed getting to know them and working with them on their wedding. They have a really fun story. They they were together like 20 something years before and everyone kind of just joked around and was like, oh, y'all never will actually get married kind of a thing. Like you're together and you'll never get married. So they finally did and we got to be a part of it and it got to be at the castle. Their vows were super cute and like she took out paper and there was like dust and she like, <laughs> like blew, blew it off. off. His cake was a ball and chain. <laughs> and then they had like two pictures that had like roses are red, violets are blue, like it finally took him this long to say I do or yeah. something something along those lines. I just really enjoyed getting to know them. They were wonderful and sweet. That is one of the things that I cherish that I take home with me mm -hmm. at the end of every event is the quality time that we get to spend with the clients on their biggest day. It's just fun and it's like, that's like the rewarding part to me is really getting to know them, seeing them on their big day even though I haven't known them for years, I will still cry at your wedding. Like I'm still, True. still sobbing because I'm like, 
so happy for them. We get to know like their hopes, their fears, what they love, what they don't love, like their favorite things about the other person, their biggest annoyances about their other person. <laughs> like, oh my God, yeah, he always does this or she's gonna be late, but that's okay, I still love her. Like, j you just get to learn yeah. that kind of stuff. Obviously, wedding day is always really exciting, a little bit of anxiety, but it's kind of that anxiety that like keeps us going. But this wedding day was also a little bit different for me because I was acting as property manager for the venue, which that's what Velvinsky does for Mustang Manor. So I was acting as that. On for wedding. the first time? Was that your first time as like a property manager, quote unquote, for a venue? I've like subbed in places, mm, helped gotcha, out. Gotcha. It's not your <clears throat> Typical Monday through Friday. Right. <laughs> so I was act acting as that and, you know, making sure like the restrooms were all stocked and trash got taken out when it needed to get taken out and that we had people parking in the right places and there weren't drunk people like falling in pools. You know, all the like little things that kind of go on behind the scenes for a venue, for a property. Making sure it's clean and, you know, freshly mopped right before the wedding and not um, catching on fire. Making sure all the <laughs> vendor, you know, the caterer and the DJ know where they're supposed to be going, where outlets are, or where sinks or extra trash cans, etc., are. So that was one. And then obviously my team was doing the coordination. So as the boss of the team, I was overseeing and just making sure they were doing their jobs right, even though they were, and I don't really have to say much about them, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm still always going to be like the. Helicopter mom. Cut it. I fucking didn't have it. Nothing. So not only, you know, the the venue and then being the boss of the coordination team, we also did the florals and decor. So I'm also going, oh my god, I hope everybody likes the way it looks because that was part of our team. You know, just the, the actual flowers on the tables, the installs. I hope, I hope that that's like such a creative like part yeah. of you that you use a lot of your heart in designing. As the designer of the space, you know, uh, the, the one that curated like what furniture we're bringing in and what decor and um, like all of that, I was also going, oh my God, I hope everybody likes it. Oh my God, I hope it functions the way it does in my head. I hope I had enough trash cans for the caterer or had enough seats in the bridal suite and that, that type of thing. I hope everyone gets the feeling that they're in a castle, but also it's a little bit more modern. I, ho I hope they enjoy the concept that we've created. So that was also like big anxiety in my head as well. So we had, I had a whole gamut of roles and jobs that day and um, I, like, yeah, it, I hope the owner like sees it as a whole and it functioning as a whole and is so proud of the venue and so proud of the project. But it definitely is like one of those things that you have like a lot of anxiety over. Driving home with you that day mm -hmm. was wild. Because in the past, like when we're driving home after a wedding day, it's mm -hmm. like <sighs> we can breathe again. But like for you, it was like not uh, we can breathe again. It was like, uh, oh my gosh, do we think people really <laughs> like the space? You didn't see any problems. Like there was no toilets overflowing or like no lights that didn't work. I was like, no, it was great. Everything was yeah. great. This whole process has been really fun. Obviously, there's been a lot of work put into it, blood, sweat, tears. <laughs> Seeing where the castle started to hosting our first event there, it, it's a really good pat on the back. There's still a lot of work to be done. We have a whole phase two. This is only the beginning. Obviously, we'll host many more events out there, but it was really special for us to have been there in the initial walkthroughs and, and envision what you think the space could be and then actually see it as that, if not better. It was a great wedding. They were so nice. They were so nice. I hope, I want all of our couples to stay in touch, but yeah, such a great day. It was great. We loved it. I wouldn't change it for the world. Oh my God. <laughs>